Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving our praises. My name is Yahweh Bashem Yahusha Bashem Yakrika Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation. I request through this work in truth and in sincerity. <clears throat> this is uh, Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold. Wait, let's see. Seven women shall take hold of one man. So like, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Let's see what reapproach means. <clears throat> uh, rebuke, shame. Uh, uh. So um, Salaki so um, was yearning, but um, in that day, you know, a complete amount of women will cleave onto the men of the Lord, whoever those men are, and whoever whoever those women are, you know, because when it all boils down to it, you women are weak-minded, you know, you can't. You can't even go a couple hours without eating, man. You know, you bitches just. That's why you. That's why you women are obese, because you're fat, man. You're fat. You're fat because all your 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 diet and your eating habits, man. You know, and when when you, when um society collapses and you bitches out here suffering, you you ain't gonna be looking too well, man. You ain't gonna be looking too well, you know. You're gonna want to find a man, specifically a man of the Lord. Uh, you're gonna be wondering why, you know, this guy is not being touched by the all the famine and pestilence out here, man. You know, because that hedge is gonna be around those men, that protection from by by the angels, man. You know, like it says in Psalms 91. You know, that's just an uh, example. But you know, the the prophets. The men of the Lord, the elect, will be protected when that day comes. That day of reproach. In that day shall the branch of Yahweh be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. You know, because the Lord is going to make us glorious again. We're going to be at a, the peak of our, we're going to be in our prime forever, man. You know, we're going to be um, super, we're going to. One example, we're going to be superhuman and we're going to be excellent. You know, we're going to have the best clothes, you know, the best. Uh, we're going to have, I was going to say the best cars or rides, but we're going to have chariots, man. Whatever. Hey, we're going to have, well, really, that is the best technology, so I can still say that. You know, we're going to have the, the best chariots. You know, we're going to have the best food, the best this, the best, the best women. You know, of out of all the heathen nations, we're gonna have the all the best resources. The we're gonna have all the resources, all the cattle, all the um, nice nice footwear. You know, all the uh, hey whatever your heart's desire. All the best jewelry. You know, you want gold teeth in your mind, man? You can get that. You know, hey we're gonna have, the Lord is gonna make us look beautiful, man. The Lord is gonna make Israel beautiful. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remains in Jerusalem, Jerusalem shall be called holy, even everyone that is written among the living in Jerusalem. You know, that's the, the tree. We we trying to eat that tree of immortality, man. You know, because the elect are going to be a part of that. You know, they're, they're the first fruits of the kingdom, man. They're going to see, they're going to, they're going to uh, experience that, that, that new wave. You know, that new wave, man, that new wave of immortality, something not being limited by time, you know, forever being upon the face of the earth, which we don't know how to experience experience that because we're going to be eating of that tree of life, man, you know, and we're going to be called holy, man, which that ho word holy means separate, you know, because we're going to be separate from these other heathens, man, 
Verse 4, when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion, the sins, you know, that filth is talking about sin, man, because we that's where we we go off. Cause see pollution, filthiness, dung, filth, literally, generally dirt, you know, because we are we are filthy right now because of our sins, you know. Uh, slot. And the Lord is gonna wash that wash that away, and and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the mist thereby uh, thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning but if you ever uh, notice um fire is the most the ultimate purifying agent you know when you put gold in a fire you know it purifies it it purges it purges it and makes it better and that's what the lord is going to do to his people you know right now the men of the lord are going through that spiritual fire instead of going through that that carnal that that literal fire you know, by the spirit of judgment. So the Lord is going to the Lord is going to judge his own people, two thirds of his own people. Yahweh Bashem al Shai is going to judge his own people, two thirds of his own people. And he, right now he's rebuking his men, the men of the Lord. He's chastening us. That's that that correction from the most high. You know, I'd rather be corrected by a, a brother. Then be corrected by a Gurkha troop, man. Or a NATO troop, if you will. A NATO troop. I'd rather be corrected by, you know, simple, you know, hey, doing this wrong. Do it. Then getting corrected by uh, getting shot in the head, man. You know? That, that simple correction, man. Because the majority of you niggas are hard-headed. Um, and, the, and by the spirit of burning. Because, hey, the Lord is going to put cook you motherfuckers. He gonna burn you motherfuckers, man, in that fire. By fire or by eating. <laughs> and that's heavy because, you know, <laughs> it's heavy because uh, the Lord is gonna allow cannibalism to come back in the earth, man. To be become brutish, to brutish. So people are already brute beasts out here. Just how much more when the society collapses. Verse 5, and, the, and Yahweh will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud and smoke by day and the shining of fire by night, flaming fire by night, for upon all the glory shall be a defense. Shalat. And there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat and from a place of ref and for a place of refuge and for a convert from the storm and from the rain. So we ain't gotta never worry about you know being vulnerable anymore. We're gonna be protected at all times, day and night. The Lord's gonna have his angels protecting us, man. You know? We're gonna be we're gonna be a safe haven. We're going to be a nice, peaceful place that nobody can touch, man. Because the Lord is always going to be with us. The Lord is always going to be a defense to us, man. You know, because right now, right now, the Lord is really using his sword to rebuke us and correct us. You know, but soon come. Hey, we're going to we're going to have knowledge, wisdom, understanding. We're going to have the law, statutes and commandments in our inward parts. So we're not going to we're not you're not, you're not going to have to worry about somebody telling you. Hey, where you going off at? What you doing? This wrong? You doing this wrong? Because you gonna know, man. You gonna know that you supposed to. You you, you gotta rest on the Sabbath. You, you know, just something simple. You know, you gonna know these things. You you gonna know not to commit adultery. You know, so you wouldn't have to get that rebuke from the Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. You know. So with that, I'm gonna say Shalom. Call me Yahshua.